Okay guys, you all know what this is lah. If you're a car enthusiast, this is something that you should be very familiar with. It's a wheel alignment machine that, you know, every once in a while, you should get your wheels aligned and balanced so that it preserves your car's dynamics. Now, most of the time when we do our alignment at regular tire shops where they will charge you anywhere between what, 30, 40, 50 ringgit to get all four wheels aligned and balanced. But today, I am at a shop that charges you 400 bucks to align your wheels. Let's find out what's so special about this place. This video is brought to you by Evo Club Car Wash. Our motto is service and solutions. You can bring your car to us for deep cleaning, shining, full-on restoration, or just a regular wash. Whatever it is you need help sorting out on your car, we are more than happy to assist. To get in touch with us, drop us a line on Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp us on the number on your screen now. Okay guys, so today I am actually at F-Tune Racing Suspension. They are just right across the road from Evo Club Car Wash. I'm here to check this place out. Now, F-Tune Racing Suspension, they are a very well-established outfit in terms of aftermarket suspension enhancement. These guys, they have their own in-house motorsports bred expertise. They have their own range of aftermarket shocks and absorbers of various price ranges to fit various models so basically these guys they know their shit when it comes to handling and uh, one of the services that they do here which i was surprised to know is that they also do wheel alignment adjustment they also have the regular machine type alignment but what today i learned upon visiting here is that they also do the old-fashioned string manual alignment process and that costs 400 ringgit. So now you may ask why is the process so expensive? You simply put, firstly manual string alignment is a very time consuming process. But why is it superior to machine alignment? Simply put, the machine alignment allows the shop to align your wheels faster. But the problem with machines is that over time they need to be recalibrated and if you just send your car to a shop that is not as diligent in recalibrating their machines what you would get is a car set up the alignment well it's based on a false calibration your alignment will larry so what the team at f-tune here just showed me is that with the manual old school string alignment process they can align the wheels of your car with much more consistent accuracy compared to the machines. The, draw, the only drawback is that it is a time-consuming process and as a result, the labor cost is high and that's why it costs you 400 ringgit for them to do this for you. But what they told me is that this process is actually very popular with race cars, with track cars, because when, when people go to track, they need the alignment to be spot on 100%. For those of us driving our daily cars, the machine will do fine. But if you want proper, proper precision, you pay top dollar and you get it done the proper way. Hua, hua. Today is my lucky day, guys. This is an original Proton Putra. This car really used to be my dream car back in high school. And I always love the Putra in this grey colour. Usually if it's this grey colour, it's automatic. And yep, so this particular example is automatic. I've seen a few Putras in the used market. Most people want the manuals, but if you're willing to go for the autos, it's easier to get them in this stock, relatively unmolested condition. So to explain the basics behind manual string alignment, first, as its name suggests, you have two strings, one lining up on each side of the car, left and right. You must ensure that both strings are precisely equal in distance 
from the center line of the car, left side and right side. Both strings must also be of the exact same height as the center of the wheel. So typically, the procedure is to adjust the height of both strings first, ensure that they pass through the center point of all four wheels. Once that's done, the next step is to ensure that the string is of equal distance from the wheels left and right side. Now, it is important to note uh, that the most important quality is that the string must be perfectly parallel to the car center line. So in the case of cars with staggered wheel fitments, the rear wheels may be closer to the string than the fronts, and that's okay. So the technician must check all four wheels, ensure that front left wheel to string distance is same as front right wheel to string distance. Then independently check that rear left wheel to string distance is same as rear right wheel to string distance. Okay, so basically, right, you will mount this bar at a fixed point at the yes. car, la, on the but chassis. With no, mm -hmm. with no space, then mm -hmm. put on top here. On the bar here, there are these lines here. What do they do? Okay, certain cars, uh, like this car, Putra, uh -huh. this is the number one. Okay, so when, as the car progressively yes. grows bigger? So it will go more bigger. Ah, okay. All right. Okay, so this is the front bar. La. Yes, this okay. Is the front. So now we come to the rear. So now this is the rear. Is it essential to ensure that the thing aligns with the center of the car? We can just put this like anywhere. So at this point in time, right, it doesn't matter whether the bar aligns center or not. Yes. What matters is you, you determine the, the center by the string. Yes. So this is the crucial part. Lah. Yes, correct. Okay, come, let's see what's next. So the string is memang already pre-fitted into one side already. One, yes, correct. Does it matter actually if this bar is front versus that bar is real or it doesn't matter? No, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter lah. So this is the string. You pull it all the way. Here is the string. Oh, this one. Camera need to focus. <laughs> so it stretches all the way to the back. So right now, this string you see here is on the second groove. Okay. So we will come to the front, bro. Can I ask, ah? Uh, okay, I noticed over there. The string is on the second groove. So yes. in the front, you also match it to the second groove. Yes. Same goes to the left. Left and right side. What is the significance of this process in getting the... the, the string? this uh, equals to a square of a car. So if mm. if on the right-hand side, maybe we put in one, uh -huh. and the left-hand left side, we put number two, uh -huh. then the square will be not the same. So it's so, voila, you... Basically, this, this, this whether you choose one, two, or three, it depends on the size of the car. Yes, correct. Okay. And if the square runs, we won't get the actual um, uh, actual rate of the. The. Okay, come. Let's see what's next. Okay. So earlier on, after as he as he as he completed the setup on all four sides, now he realized that putting it at num at this at the second groove was too wide. So now he bring it in to one, okay, where now the string tracks closer to the edges of the car, okay? So here, here, this string here practically is touching the right rear wheel. Okay, so now you're going to adjust the height. So the height that you want to adjust is what? To the wheel center line? Yes, the wheel center line and we follow this ruler to be straight, 90 oh. degrees. How do you ensure that the ruler is straight? Ah? <laughs> we, uh, we'll just like, you know, imagine, use uh. our eyesight. Uh. Uh. So we'll just like put this together. Okay. We'll just like, so this is like 90 degrees. Okay. And turn straight. So turun lagi. So basically the idea is that he must drop this so that the string touch ngam touch the ruler. Okay. Okay. Nice. So now you have to repeat this process for all four wheels, lah. 
Okay, bro, what are you hammering now? Ah? This one is to get the actual square, square of the car. So basically, just now you adjusted the height, yes. right? Now you're adjusting the width so that the this gap, so that this gap is consistent with all four wheels. Yes, correct. Okay, okay, okay. Then after this is done, you can start the alignment, pro the measurement process. All right. Now, thanks to the magic of video editing, you saw all the all that done in a matter of minutes. But truth is, it actually takes them fastest fastest they've ever managed to get the height and width of that string properly set up for a car the fastest they've ever done is one hour then once that is set up they can begin measuring the toe angle of each wheel okay so right now you are doing the toe measurement yes correct so we will use the back and the front okay of the rim to get the toe so okay for example now right now you are okay so you're measuring this distance lah yes correct so it's now in 4 cm lah looks or 3.9 39.5 cm 39.5 cm okay then the front 36 so now that we have measured the distance of both the leading and trailing edge of the wheel from the string and knowing the diameter of the wheel, we can use a bit of good old fashioned trigonometry to calculate the wheel's toe angle in the case of this example works out to 0 0.45 degrees. So now that you've got the measurement, you can adjust. Now what we want is we want to readjust so that it's toe neutral. Lah. But here on the toe adjustment process is the same like you got regular tire shop, you're turning the same nut, right? Where your process differs from the outside shop really is the way it is measured as opposed to the, the what I, what is it that is being tweaked? Uh, if in the shop, they use computer mm. to see the measurement mm. but if for manual alignment, we use a ruler mm. and you calculate follow this measurement. Mm. Okay. So it is a very labor intensive process all right, to set the, the rig up to get the precise measurement and then after that he's gonna have to crawl under the car to get to, to adjust the nut okay so the next fancy equipment we have here this is what we call a camber gauge yes. all right so how does this work okay, so this so this is adjustable this is adjustable this is adjustable and you have to put it in such a way that the it touches exactly the outer lip of the rim must be the rim yes. must be the rim it cannot be on the tire or it cannot be inside here so so this one from but how do you ensure that it's 90 degrees straight ah? uh, because we we'll just use our eye uh -huh. to see the real one okay so we will just like put in the middle here yep then we will follow the middle cap mm -hmm. and we'll see this is straight or not okay okay so basically it's it's still a very manual process ah. yes very manual process and you have to be very careful because you cannot like you know like move the left and right mm. so we'll be like really careful mm -hmm. this on this and be careful and we'll just like wait for a few seconds and see what's the actual of the angle so so there the angle is 1.1 1 .1. yes correct negative. so it's negative 1.1 1 .1. Yes. So then after that, based on this info, you will adjust accordingly lah for the customer based on what the customer requires. You know how this is one or two mm. like negative? Mm. This is, uh, if you see, the arrow is up, it's mm. negative. Mm. But the arrow if down means it's positive. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Nice. So this is how we know negative. So this is, this, this wheel is negative 1.1 degree camber lah. Yes, correct. Right, and then you adjust the camber the same way as as a regular shop would. Yes. But it says that your the methodology that you use to measure is different. It's different. Nice. It will take more time. More, more time consuming. More precision. Yes. Yeah. More, more, more human focus, lah. Yes. Okay, guys. So there you have it. That's how it's done. The manual string alignment process that promises much more consistent accuracy in aligning the wheels of your car compared to the more familiar machine type 
alignment. So there's a re it's expensive, but there's a reason why it is expensive. And stay on to the end of this video, guys, because after this, I am sharing with you a new promo that Evo Club Car Wash is doing in collaboration with F-Tune Suspension. And this is a package that is available exclusively only for F-Tune Suspension customers. Watch on, guys. Okay, guys, so today we are at the headquarters of F-Tune Suspension, one of Malaysia's leading outfits in aftermarket suspension tuning. These guys here have motorsport pedigree and more importantly, they are homegrown with their own brand of aftermarket springs and absorbers designed to enhance the ride and handling of your cars. Now, I'm delighted to share that if you are sending your car here to F-Tune Suspension, you have the chance to take up a very unique package from Evo Club Car Wash as well. This package is tailored exclusively for customers of F-Tune. It is not available on walk-in basis at our shop. So in this exclusive package, your car gets a full exterior wash. We deep clean your wheels, engine bay, door frame, undercarriage, and also apply a layer of coating on your dashboard. The normal retail price of this selection of services range from 900 to 1,002 ringgit. But if you're an F-Tune customer, you get to enjoy it at just 699 ringgit. Now, once again, this package is offered exclusively to customers of F-Tune. So contact them now for further information. So that's it for today's video. If you are looking to enhance the ride and handling of your car, do come and check out F-Tune Suspension. They have a wide range of products and also they have very very good expertise in hand i know a few people in here personally and believe me these guys they know their shit okay so come check them out and uh, if you guys need any car detailing services do contact us at evo club car wash as well the details are being flashed on the screen right now so i uh, look forward to hear from you guys soon guys if you enjoyed this video do hit the like button, share with me your thoughts in the comment section. I would really appreciate it also if you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Do also check out the channels of my other Horizon team members as well. And do remember that every Monday, Bobby, Thomas, Tana and myself, we are live on Facebook and YouTube to answer all your car buying questions. Okay, so uh, until my next video guys, take care, stay safe. I'll see you soon.